What up, it's your boy Troy. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to burst with energy over the age of 40. That's right, this year I turned 44 years old. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to burst with energy so that you can maximize life. A lot of people say that time is the most valuable asset. I would argue that energy is actually the most valuable asset because you could have time, but if you don't have energy, what are you doing with that time? So in this video, I'm gonna break down in detail how you can learn to get your energy back and quite literally burst with energy. So without further ado, let's jump into it. So here's a few things I've learned over the last two decades working and coaching with other people, spending years as a personal trainer in the trenches and actually becoming one of the best personal trainers in the entire world. Then evolving into that, into working with entrepreneurs, top level athletes, Olympic athletes, and people like you to help you understand how to maximize your life. And one of those key aspects is understanding what I call the foundations. Like you have to button this down before you even start to think about doing something else in life. So you probably have dreams, goals, ambitions, desires. Maybe it's around making money. Maybe it's around meeting the right kind of girl. But don't even think about doing those things until you lock this in right here. And I'm gonna show you how to do it in a simple and easy way. So the four main tenets of the foundation are your nutrition. You must learn to detox because you are being attacked by your environment and the foods that you consume. And then you have to understand movement or exercise. And then you also have to be able to sleep and recover. So I'm gonna show you how to do these things over time, but I'm gonna break down today most deeply this nutrition aspect. But I want you to understand something like all of these things, your success and failure in this area will revolve around your beliefs. So the beliefs you have about something can either move you forward or hold you back in life. Your awareness around it, because that's what's gonna allow you to make adjustments along the way. If you're not aware of something, how can you adapt and adjust to it? You can't. So my goal is to help you increase your awareness around these things. And then lastly, then comes the strategy. Then it's the actual doing of the process that you can tweak and adjust over time that leads you to the result. With that being said, let's extract and look at nutrition first. And so the first thing I want you to think about nutrition is the beliefs you have around it. So the way we can understand this is by you answering this simple question. I don't even want you to think I'm going to ask you this question. And just the first thing that comes to mind, just say it out loud. Eating healthy is okay. What'd you come up with? Was it something like hard, challenging, expensive, whatever that short statement was, gives us an identity around the beliefs you carry around eating healthy. So the first thing we have to understand, if it was something that's somewhat negative, let's say, it'd be like a limiting belief, like it's expensive, it's difficult, it's too hard, it's for other people, not me. These are all common phrases around the beliefs. I will challenge that belief right now for you because remember, for something to be true, it has to be true 100% of the time. For something to be a truth, it has to always be true. So is nutrition always expensive? Is eating healthy always difficult? No, I would say, for me, I believe it's actually very easy and it's not expensive. I just want you to change that belief, the frame of the belief into eating clean. So now if I were to ask you the question, eating clean is, and you might say, easy, not that hard, okay, like possible. So rather we're gonna just adjust the belief. All you have to do is learn to eat clean. Okay, now you understand a little bit more about beliefs. We could break this down in depth, right? I have an actual video about this, but the next thing we're to look at here is we're gonna adjust or increase our awareness around it. Because remember, when you increase your awareness, then you can actually make changes. Without an awareness level, you can't make any adjustments because you just don't even understand. It. With that being said, we're gonna simplify this nutrition concept. I want you just to start to learn how to avoid foods that increase inflammation. So inflammation is foods that your body can't really digest. They're toxic to your body and that creates inflammation. Your body like literally like swells up, right? So it starts to fight against itself in a way. And when we have too much inflammation, we get bloated, we have achy joints, your digestion gets screwed up, you get foggy in the brain. So all of these things start to influence your energy. And so we want to learn to avoid inflammation. Now an oversimplified way to do it, but being oversimplified can be good. And again, it's going to increase our awareness is just to avoid anything that is processed. So quite literally, that just looks like things that are in bags and boxes. The saying that I use is if the sun don't feed it, don't eat it. So quite literally, when you grab something to eat, does the sun feed that thing? Like has the sun fed it? And if so, then okay, I can start to eat this. It's oversimplified, but it breaks it down into a simplified formula. So quite literally, you're going, okay, does the sun feed this? Yes. Okay. Shopping cart. Does the sun feed this? No, it's in a box. It can't. So I'm not going to get that because what that shows you is will this food give me energy or will this food take energy away? One of the things I'll do with my clients, and I'd encourage you to do this as well, is you take a three by five card and on that three by five card, you write, will this give me energy or will this take it away? And you put that three by five card in your pocket. And every time you go to eat, you pull it out. That's all you have to do. Just pull it out and read it. 
So you pull out your card, will this give me energy or will this take it away? Maybe you're looking at the menu, you're like, damn, that's gonna take energy away. Can't eat here, and you move along. Then you go somewhere else, right? You're shopping, pull it out, will this give me energy or will this take it away? And so you're learning to change your awareness level around energy versus what we might call food. So I want you to see past the food, past the item, into the energy that it either gives you or it takes away from you. That's gonna help you to learn to burst with energy, quite literally. Once you've mastered these two previous steps, then you can move into the area of strategy. And strategy is gonna be like things like proximity, having foods that are healthy close to you, the ones that you need to avoid far away from you. As an example, like I eat junk food every now and then, maybe it's, uh, I don't eat wheat, so sometimes I'll go eat gluten-free donuts. I love my gluten-free donuts, but guess what? There's no sweets in my house. So if I want to eat something sweet, I have to literally make the conscious decision, so awareness around going and doing that. So I'll get in my car, I'll drive down to the grocery store, I'll make the conscious decision to buy some gluten-free donuts, come back home and eat them. And so what that does is it puts a process, like a boundary around my decision making when it comes to energy. So that's the law of proximity. Then the other one we might look at is something like timing. So that's having like the right amount of food at the right times of day. That's gonna be another strategy that you'll learn to implement. But for right now, I want you to think about the beliefs, the awareness, and then start to understand the strategy that it takes to help you burst with energy. So that's gonna help us understand this nutrition aspect. I'll teach you how to get rid of plastics, heavy metals, things like that, that kind of like toxify your body and therefore slow you down and consume your energy. So our goal is to clean those things out. But again, we have to get our nutrition dialed in first or you're just repeating the cycle. You're just gonna have to detox all the time because you're eating bad food and putting it back into the body. Then once we have that, we have a clean system. We're getting more energy. Then we can add in movement because what you might be doing right now is you have movement ahead of these things. You're trying to exercise and it probably feels like when you go to exercise, you're like, yo, I can't even do this, man. I'm not in the right mindset for it. Well, of course not, because you don't have these two things dialed in first. So it's fair. We're gonna get these dialed in, then we'll get your movement aspect going, and then we can look to get you sleep and recovery because your energy is gonna be flowing by here and you'll feel like you actually need that sleep. So then my friend, you'll be bursting with energy.